Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up your first Google Shopping campaign. I'm gonna take you through the Google Ads dashboard and show you exactly the exact settings you need to set up to ensure that you are successful in running your Google Ads for your e-commerce business. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my Google Shopping strategy and also how to set up your first Google Shopping campaign. So my main strategy, I call it the cold testing strategy. Basically guys, we're going to create a standard shopping campaign with all the products you want to promote. So I recommend having 10 to 50 products at a minimum. Uh, you can do less, but more is totally fine. Actually, I find the more products you've got with Google, the better it actually tends to do. Uh, I recommend just starting off with one country. So say the United States, uh, and then setting your bidding strategy to maximize clicks with a max CPC of, if you're a beginner or doing lower ticket products, 25 to 30-ish cents, and then 30 to 50 cents uh, if you're doing something that's a bit more expensive or a bit more competitive. You might find you need to play with that if you're not getting impressions, but just for now, just stick to that. So budget, you can start off with as little as $10 to 100 uh, would be my beginner budget, uh, preferably 50 to 100 uh, Otherwise, it's just going to take you a long time to get any uh, amount of solid data. Uh, and the campaign priority you want to set is low. So once you've set all that up, guys, I'm going to show you in a moment, but uh, run it for, I reckon, at least seven days, five to seven days before touching anything. Uh, the longer, the better, to be honest. Just because if you don't, well, five days is the uh, window for learning. Uh, and, and to be honest, to fully optimize, it probably needs 14 days. Uh, from there, guys, we're gonna look to see if we're getting products with uh, conversions, what's getting clicks, what's getting impressions. Uh, and what I follow, guys, is my method is, okay, if you're not getting impressions, let's increase your CPC bids very slowly. Couple of cents here and there. If you're getting clicks but no conversions, then make sure your page images are optimized, uh, your title, go through the optimization video basically, guys, uh, and is your price competitive? So a lot of Google Shopping is about looking at competitors and seeing what's going on and, and where can we make improvements. So from here, products that are profitable will be put in their own campaign. So then uh, you're gonna move on to the scaling video when you're in this uh, circumstance. Uh, if they get consistent, profitable sales, okay? So from here, have a look at keywords, right? The keywords tab, remove unprofitable keywords. So unprofitable is come up with a strategy where say, you wanna only spend $2 to $5 uh, per keyword. If it doesn't make a sale, get rid of it, okay? Uh, ideally, I like to leave things get 100 to 200 clicks, but obviously I know that not everyone's got the budget to do that. So if you're on a smaller budget, do less than that. You can also remove un, uh, irrelevant keywords, guys. So anything that's too broad or not exactly what you're selling. So uh, make sure from here, guys, you're adding products to this consistently if you wanna keep scaling. If you've got a store doing with tons of traffic already, you're probably not gonna need to do this step, but then you're gonna need to use some more advanced strategies than this particular one. So the, the reason this strategy works, guys, is because we're bidding really low and we're being conservative. If you don't bid low, then it will not work. Uh, and it's definitely not best practice, okay? So best practice is to use more segmentation, which I talk about in other videos in this course. From here, guys, check one to, I'm gonna say two max. I've got three here, but I probably wouldn't need necessarily say three. You can check it, but I wouldn't make changes three times a week. I'd keep it to one to two times a week to make changes and batch them as I've told you in other videos. So as I've already elaborated, guys, uh, I've already said before, uh, this strategy only works when we're bidding low. Uh, it's perfectly suited for beginners just because it's simple and this is why I recommend it. If you have a larger account, this strategy may not work for you. I've still seen it work on big accounts, but you may need to get a bit deeper and a bit more targeted with segmentation and bidding at, at the more specific product, profit margin level or by collection or products, which is best practice, right? So best practice is to segment your campaigns or ad groups uh, by profit margin, price point, collection, uh, seasonal item, and, and things. Basically, what we're wanting to do is better control our bids and what keywords we're coming up for through the use of negative keywords. So I'm gonna jump into a Google Ad account and show you how to set up your first Google Shopping campaign. Okay, so now you're in your Google Ad account, just click New Campaign, click Sales, click Shopping, your feed will pop up here, select your country, and let's select a standard shopping campaign. 
So guys, I forgot to mention earlier, to do this, your feed needs to be approved. So in the Merchant Center, everything needs to be green uh, and that feed needs to be activated and approved, which as I said, can take up to 10 days to happen. So let's just call this our test shopping campaign. Select maximize clicks as your bidding strategy and let's select a maximum bid of 30 cents. Our budget of say $100 our campaign priority of low. Uh, if you're on a tight budget, you can actually remove these here, guys, but I like that at least leaving on Gmail and Discovery uh, and YouTube here, just because you can then be seen on all these different networks as well, uh, and it can do quite well. Select your country, save and continue. And now let's just go all products, add group. Now, this is what I meant with segmentation. You want to create multiple ad groups depending on, you know, uh, and, and do them based on profit margin, collection, etc. Click save. And you've created your first campaign, guys. It's as simple as that. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this account and kind of show you the steps and, and what I look at on a weekly kind of basis. Uh, and then what I do to improve campaign performance. So I'm now in my shopping campaign. And guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the keyword tab, go search terms, and I'm gonna look at probably, let's go roughly two months. And I'm gonna go filter down by cost and see, okay, what is chewing up all my spend and am I getting sales? Okay, as you can see here, this word play mat, I spent $11.97, got zero sales, so I've excluded it. Here's another one here. I've spent $7.66, got zero sales. I'd probably exclude this too. The only reason I won't is I know that it's very a very good keyword based on what I'm selling. It might just be a little bit competitive and I might need to wait a little bit longer. Now, here's where I'm talking about, I guess, some uh, with broader keywords. Baby Matt is a very, very broad keyword. Uh, if this continues to spend and doesn't get me sales, I will be removing that, okay? So as you can see, this is kind of the process and what, how you add things as negative keywords, you just click that. Click that as add as negative and click save. So from here, guys, what I'd be doing is I'd then be looking at the product level and seeing which products are bringing in sales and which ones are chewing up all my spend and not giving me sales. So you can filter by sales here and see, okay, I'm getting conversions on these. I don't have to worry about them, but let's filter by cost now and see uh, is anything not profitable. So this one here, guys, probably not profitable. We've spent $65, had one conversion, but it is a higher ticket product. Now, if this was a product that was say $30, I'd probably be removing that. And to be honest, I'm gonna be watching this one and seeing if I need to remove it currently out of stock. So I probably will not be getting it back in. So as you can see, pretty good spread here. Uh, look, uh, this, this is an example here. So I've spent $23, I've had zero sales. This is one I need to keep my eye on. Same with this one here. Spent money, made no sales. But as you can see, quite a good spread of sales on this account. Uh, often what you'll find is the top costing products quite often aren't bringing sales and you need to remove them. So this is, these are the basics, guys. This is what I'd be looking at. If you want to get a bit more advanced, you can go down to location. You can put an ad schedule in. But for more info on this topic, guys, go into my optimization video. But uh, as you've seen now, this is my testing strategy for beginners. Uh, most of you are going to be able to use this strategy and get some really good results. Okay. Thanks, guys.